Hello everyone, welcome back, going into the third part, not really an hour anymore, <laughs> of uh, the premiere of Roleplay. Yes. No, we're on metric time now, because it's go. the future. There you go. What's going on, Adam? Every hundred minutes is an hour now. Alright, we just rolled initiative. Crusher, you are you are up. I presume you're just going to like run up to the sixth floor, is that the plan? Uh, no, I'd take the elevator. I'm in proper, like, is there an elevator in the... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I take, yeah. I take the sure. elevator. Okay. All right, so you jog in, run over the elevator, hit the button. And then and I just wait. Wait, okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. Uh, night, night sass, what do you want to do? So now that, now that for everybody, now that there's not, like, uh, sniper rifle shots ringing out and stuff, you can just hear, like, in the distance a little ways, the, the blaring of the alarm from the Renraku office building. Um, you can hear traffic on, like, nearby streets. And um, you hear sirens somewhere in the distance. Getting louder. What's everybody doing? Are we still are we still in the initiative order, or what is yes. everybody doing just outside yeah. of the initiative? It starts starts with Night's Ass. You're first. What are you doing? Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to limp to catch up to Crusher. Okay, so you want to run out into the street. Um, what's your quickness minus not, two? I'm not into the street, and I'm also bringing the scientist guy. Crusher's already out into the street. Crusher's gone. Crusher's run into the parkade across the street. I want to be beside someone. <laughs> <laughs> Human cover is what you're looking for. I'm I'm gonna be more discreet. I just want a buddy, buddy. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you want to hold until somebody else goes? I'll get as because I'm limping, I'll try and get as close to exiting as I can for okay. now. So you could be beside Bonbon bon on her side of the of the gate, or you could be on the other side of the gate where the hole's in the middle of the two. I'll have... I'll push the scientist in front of me, and then I'll be beside Bonbon bon as well. Okay, so the three of you are clustered up on, on one side of the, uh, of the gate. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. Bonbon, uh, bon, what do you want to do? Um, fuck. I mean, we got to get across the street. Um, we don't know what's going on. Like, all we know is that Crusher ran across the street. Yeah. And there was a sniper, but, I mean, for all you know, there might still be one. I think we got to go anyway. Yeah. I guess I turned to the other runners and... Well, we got to We got to get to Breakdown's car, and it's across the street, so... Okay, so Here if we you go. if you run, you can you can run at your quickness times four meters per action. So what's your what's your quickness? Twelve meters. Okay, so you can run twelve. Yeah, twelve. Okay. Solid. What? Forty-eight feet, maybe. Yeah, fifty feet. Give or take. Um, so you're running across the street, down the alley, and around the corner. Uh, Based on the map you have in your head and what you saw, you figure you could probably cover that distance in four four actions. Jesus Christ. Yeah. You're only going to be exposed when you're in the street and then in the alley if there's anyone so like, on either end of the alley. Two actions in the street? How many actions in the street then? You guys want me to draw it out for you? Yeah. Would, would that Just, help? Okay. Yeah. Let's make some squares. Um, squares! Okay, so if this is the building that you're in... Uh, this is the parkade across the street. This is the building next to the parkade. Looks like a big face. So <laughs> the sniper was on the sixth floor up here. Crusher went in here. Uh, you guys are here. Um, this is the hole in the gate. Uh, this is another office building with like a entrance there. This is the alley uh, in the middle, and. Um, uh, Breakdown's vehicle, the Dove Wagon, is up here somewhere. So you got to run across the street, down the alley, and then hook around the corner. Okay, the so I could make there. it to like I could make it to like okay. there. If the you want to, yeah. If you're just running, yeah, you could get across the street. Sure. All right, I, I, that's what I wish to do. Okay. All right. So uh, everybody who's still in the parkade, uh, you see uh, Bon Bon just like take off and run across the street into the alley. Um, the sniper does something. No one can see him, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, breakdown. What do you want to do? 
So one of the aspects of the dove is that while they do love life, um, they're very easily depressed and a little fatalistic. So not only have I failed to use the magic that nature has given me to heal this wound, I've also failed in my just basic knowledge and understanding of medicine and how to bandage a wound. So I'm feeling really bad about myself suddenly, <laughs> like just overwhelmingly depressed out of nowhere. So I'm just kind of shuffling behind everybody just like, oh my God, well maybe this is like, maybe I'm just meant to die here. Like maybe this is just what's supposed to be happening to me because like, I don't know, I can't even, I don't understand. Like normally this works. I mean, normally it would, I definitely, if I had the bandages, I don't understand what even went wrong. Like, <laughs> did I just wrap it wrong? Did I like tie it wrong? I'm not really sure, but like, oh my God, where is everybody? And I'm like looking around. <laughs> yeah, they're all starting to leave. <laughs> yeah, everybody's just gone. I'm like, Oh, um, oh, okay. And I just kind of like s sort of pick up the pace. I'm not running. I'm just kind of like, oh, all right, okay. <laughs> okay. So you uh, um, I start I I head I head in the direction of the alley as okay. far as I can get not running in one okay. action. All right. So you get out into the middle of the street basically, the middle of like two Okay. Minutes. Okay. Yeah, so you're you're kind of like there, yeah, in the middle. Um, okay, cool. So, Crusher, uh, you are in the elevator. It is playing a very tasteful cover of Hotel California. Yep, I'm tapping my feet. <laughs> All righty. I'm enjoying the beat. Okay. Uh, so you're on, like, the third floor, working your way up. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Night Sass, you have one more action before next turn. What would you like to do? So while we're walking over there, do I see... No, because the sniper ran away. Yeah. The street's pretty empty. There's a bunch of parked cars. There's the office building across the street, but nobody really around. Just your friends. Friends. No. I don't have any actions to make. I start trying to talk to the scientist. Just, yeah, I know I know he can't understand me, but <laughs> I just feel yeah, like just... we've been through so much together so far. <laughs> it's true. We really have. Traumatizing yeah. experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what's. I mean, for, I, like, Bon Bon, you seem to have a plan. What is the plan here? Like, you don't have the person who has the keys to the car with you. You also don't have the person you need to get out of here with you. What's what's your, like, inevitable plan? Well, my my inevitable plan is to eventually get to the car, but, like, yeah. since, since the, like, the rest of the crew wasn't really moving with me, I'm, I'm hoping at least I can serve as a, a motivation Okay. That they should follow me. <laughs> All right. So you're. Do you, are you gonna shout back to them like "Let's go"? Or yeah, I've been saying, "Come on, let's go." The fucking car is over there. We found it, and it, I don't know how many times I gotta say it. I'm. I'm awesome. talking to myself here. I mean, <laughs> what the? <laughs> cool. Okay. Uh, all right. So and I will. Um, I will at least pull out my Aries as cover, in the rare cool. time that. Yes. Shit, is, shit is real now. You gotta go. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, because there's no like active conflict happening right now, um, we can come out of initiative order. Um, Crusher, you get to the top floor. The door opens, and uh, you can see uh, like right straight across from the from the uh, door. There's a um, there's a cop car. Uh, like a it's painted like gray. Um, it's got the Ren Raku logo on the hood. Um, there's a guy in. Oh no! Getting. Oh, you're back. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! We'll set up on. Uh, nope, he's back. Uh, Hello, Hi. I don't think you're here. Hello. <laughs> Catching up. Did I get Hello? hacked again? Yep. <laughs> we got hacked, hacked on the stream too. Big time. <laughs> Damn it! We heard there's a guy, and then he started. Yeah, there's out. a guy. Um. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, I can see everybody getting except Dodgers cam looks out to me. That's fine. I don't care. Damn, shots fired. Okay. Um. Well, I don't... that's cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Go ahead. It's cool. We're fine. We're good. Uh, okay. You just you see a guy getting into that uh, that gray like police the Ren Rocko security car, yeah. um, and his sniper rifle is still like leaned up against the banister. He's, he's in getting the car? in. The car is facing you, and he's just gotten into the driver's seat and is like turning the car on. Yeah, I start uh, running for the car with uh, with my arms out as if I'm just going to push the car out. 
<laughs> okay, through you want to try and stop the, the car? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I think he guns he guns the engine and like pulls out, and you come running up and like slam your hands on the front of the car. Yeah. Um, so you're gonna try and like stop the car from from driving. Stop the car from driving and also push it. Like I want to push it off the six floors so it just falls. <laughs> Dude, so you want to push it back through the concrete railing behind it and off. <laughs> we're going to try. Another? Yeah, you're strong. but 25. You're, yeah, yeah, I know. We're going to try. That's an intense roll. Okay. Um, I don't know what the relative strength of a car is. Um, make, I mean, I, I know it's very improbable, but that's what... Yeah, yeah, sure no, that's, that's and that's fine. That's totally cool. Um, that's the kind of over-the-top shit you get karma for. Um... Let's just say, and let me look at the stats of the car and see if it indicates anything to me. Um, okay, well, I don't know. This sounds like an insane thing to do. Let's make it a difficulty uh, 15. Okay. Um, so strength, strength roll, difficulty 15. Do the exclamation, exclamation one. 11d6, 15s, exclamation, exclamation. Yeah, and if you get one success, you can you can push it back. Um, I think three or more, you can push it the back wheels through the through the barrier, but you're not gonna be able to do it all in one round. Okay, and so, uh, so you can get three or better. You've like smashed it back through the barrier. One, you've stopped it. Uh, if you fail, then he's just gonna hit you with the car. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna roll it. Do it. Zero successes. I didn't even uh, roll a single six. Fuck. You're you're lucky Yikes. because you you're lucky because you didn't get any ones. If you gotten uh one and no successes, that's like a big botch fail and uh. really bad shit happens. But in this case, he just hits you with his car. Which... <laughs> oh, you know. Yeah, I would think no, that does both bad it, for the AP. car and. Oh, maybe. it'll be bad for both of you. It's a good thing you didn't get to pick up that much speed. Yeah. Um, I mean, the car's half a ton, and you're one ton, right? So. <laughs> I mean, he's fine. not. I don't. I don't know that he's literally a ton, but he. Yeah. They're. But they're. They're pretty. I'd like to. <laughs> Probably weighs as much as like I don't know, like a Volkswagen Beetle or something. Uh, okay, so crashing a car into you. Um, He's not trying not to crash into you, so you just get hit with the car, and the car gets hit with you. Um, so you're going to resist. Uh, let's see. The target number is... Uh, let's see. Target number equal to vehicle's handling plus modifiers for condition, speed, and terrain. Okay, so no modifiers for speed, terrain. Oh, I guess he's not, he is moving, so it's a plus two. So difficulty is uh, six. Are so you rolling this, or am I rolling? No, you're gonna you're gonna roll it, and then I'll roll for the car. Um, the car's gonna get out probably worse for this. Um, so it's a deadly wound. Staging is four, and the target number is what did I say? Six. Yeah. So roll uh, roll body. Okay. Um, and uh, difficulty is six, and for every three successes you get. Um, and so it. it's starting at deadly. Yeah, um, and you Jesus. apply your you apply your impact armor, not your ballistic. So armor. Balli so or impact armor is six. Yeah. So it's six on any success, plus six on any success. Yeah, no matter what. You'll reduce it from deadly down to deadly to serious, serious to moderate. So you're just basically resisting the moderate wound with your body. All right. Well, this might actually kill me if I roll poorly. So it's eleven d six greater than six s. Yeah. Two successes. Okay, so you don't stage it down. You take a moderate wound as the car drives you back into the elevator and, like, smushes you on the wall. Um, if that had hit anybody else, they would have just been, like, paced. Right. <laughs> you have, like, a little stomachache. Um, okay, now the car. So the car needs to make a resist. It has one armor. Uh, it has a body of... Body of one, so vehicle crashes, the vehicle. Vehicle's handling. Okay, so he's gonna roll. Six, four, S. And this is the damage he's sustained? It's the damage the car is sustaining, and then I'll roll for him. Gotcha. Okay, so the car takes a serious wound, which is worse than you just took, so that's cool. And then the driver. Uh, needs to resist uh, half the divided by the target number. Okay, so he's got to resist with his body uh, 
four. And the staging number is four. OK, uh, so all right. So the car plows into you, continues on, hits the wall, so pinning you between the car and the wall. The guy uh -huh. goes the guy goes over the over the um, steering wheel, hits his head on the glass, and then just like slumps down half in and half out of the car. <laughs> Meanwhile, downstairs. <laughs> So you guys hear tires squealing, like you hear a car peel out, and then like a tremendous crashing sound from the parkade. Um, and I didn't get, I didn't get shot at like when I no. crossed the street. So I'm gonna intensify sort of my calling to the other, to the rest of the party. Like, okay, you know, the snipe is gone. Come on, let's go, let's go. Breakdown. I live faster. Okay, cool. So you're all going to run up and... Are you going to wait says, for them, Bonbon? Bon? Are you waiting? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right, so Bonbon, bon, you get everybody, I guess. Like, Breakdown, are you going to go too? To the car? Yeah. Uh, well, you're going to run across to the alley to where Bonbon's bon yeah. waiting. Okay, cool. So you all cluster up in the alley, and then what? And then, uh, I mean, based off the graphic that we've got here, I want to make our way down the alley and over to the car. Okay. Um, actually, maybe uh, if there are any other... Um, if there's any other entrances into the building, to at least make note of those. The one that's to our left. Yeah, yeah, the parkade. Um, yeah. yeah, there is, there is like, one more entrance to the parkade in the alley, but it doesn't look like it's, there's nothing really going on. You could, like, look in, you see, you know, the cars laid out. And the, right, but could we cut through the parkade to reach the car faster? Yes, definitely. Then, that, then that's what I would like to do. You do that? Okay, yeah. cool. So you duck into the parkade and kind of make your way around the cars. Yeah. Um... Okay, cool. Uh, upstairs, Crusher, how allergic to iron are you? Because cars are made a lot of iron. <laughs> well, you have like a big piece of iron like up like, up on your body. Uh, that's really, I'll pull this in a second. Um, okay. Well, on a 1 to 12 <laughs> rating, I have a 13. <laughs> so you are just like the most allergic. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what is that? What impact does that have on you when you're exposed to iron? Do you have to make a test or anything? Uh, it says my severity is severe. Yep. And I don't know. Okay. Uh, so a severe reaction means the character has to add one to all target numbers when you're in contact. In addition, contact with the substance causes a light wound. There's no role to avoid this damage. So you take another light wound. Uh, and unless you can get, this is the funny thing. So unless you can get the car up off of you, like there's probably I like take a more hole. light wounds every. Unless Around, there's, a, yeah. there's probably a hole in your armor and the bumper is like touching your chest or something, and uh, the longer yeah, so it's I mean it's every eleven minutes, but if you can't get the car off you, every eleven minutes you'll take one more light wound until you go into anaphylactic shock and die from bumper poisoning. Right. Oh, <laughs> like the most deadly of allergies. <laughs> uh, so can I just push the car outward? Yes, you can make a, a strength test to to shove the car out. Uh, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this this difficulty is only gonna be only gonna be ten for you to like get the car up off. Oh you. geez, that's still a lot though. Uh, you got a shit ton of dice. I have 10. Here we go. Uh, wait, I don't get... I'm just going to make this roll. Zero successes. We got close. Okay. All right. So you're struggling with it. You can try again, but not right now. Um, okay. And yeah, you can feel like your, your like throat closing up a little. You're like having a hard time breathing. It's like, yeah, you're having an allergic reaction to the car. Yeah. yeah. Some have okay. this reaction when they eat a kiwi. Others have it when they <laughs> touch eye. <laughs> yep. When they get hit by a car. <laughs> also, just so people understand where that's coming from, uh, when you play a metahuman, you have to roll on an allergy table. And it's a, is it a 2d6? Or yeah. a 6d, it's a 2d6? 2d6. So on a 2d6, I rolled an 11, and trolls get an inherent plus 2. Yeah. So, so you're, yeah. yeah. So like, for example, like uh, Breakdown, what are, you, what are you allergic to? I'm mildly allergic to plastic. There you go. So if you ever want to really bother Breakdown, just rub your credit card on his face. <laughs> Was the lore behind that? Uh, just that they're so the the metahuman species aren't um, they're they're not like they don't really belong in the modern world. Okay. They've had this like magical resurgence, but their like technology is repugnant to them. It's kind of the same thing that makes your soul die as you get more cyber gear. Okay. Yeah. The game is very much the like Tolkien like technology versus nature kind of struggle. Um, That's why so, you go to farmers markets. 
Get out of the city. Take a walk sometimes. <laughs> So, uh, Alley Squad, uh, you cut through. <laughs> you cut through the parkade, uh, weave between the cars, get to the other side, and uh, you see sitting there. You see Breakdown's car. What kind of car is it? And, and describe it for us, Breakdown. Um, it is a jackrabbit. It's basically it's a small two seater. It has three wheels, um, one big wheel in the front, and then two wheels in the back. So people fit like kind of right in the center of it, and then it has a very small trunk. Cool. So we could feasibly fit three people in there. <laughs> Just shove him in the trunk. Yeah, but the oh. trunk, I'll warn you, the trunk is my lodge. No, so right. there's a lot of magic back there, and you might be overwhelmed by it. You can put him Full in the dove, the dove cave? The do yeah. <laughs> 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 my trunk that's just filled with pigeon feathers. It's my lodge. Oh, oh no. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, so you can, you can see the car. You're all, like, hunkered down. Um, Parked uh, across the street, there is a another one of those Renraku police cars. Uh, you can see there's like someone in the driver's seat and someone in the passenger seat, and the guy in the driver's seat has uh, like is like talking on his radio, and the other guy's like typing away on a uh, like one of those built-in cop laptops, and they're just like watching the street, like looking for you guys. Uh, and and where are they in relation to the car exactly across the street? Yeah, they're they're on the other side of the street, facing the um, the other direction. So they're like, I can't really draw on here because I used up all the space. But they're kind of like there, facing right this way across the alley. Right. And you, but we're in the. Yeah, you dudes are like here. So. Oh, could could miss could miss ass. <laughs> yeah, can I take a shot? Possibly shoot them. Um, Why? Wait, we don't. The, I mean, the answer to that question is yes. I'm not asking that in character, by the way, because I don't believe in violence. But I, so um, I would suggest that maybe we just try to get you and the doctor to the car because we can't drive with you anyway, and so we can just get out, find another escape route. But we need yeah. you to leave with the doctor. Could I? Uh, maybe I could play dumb, like I'm just a normal person going to my car. Yes. And then drive away. Because yes. I look, you know. Yeah, just, just roll the nonchalant skill. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. I have a... Hold on. Just walk right. casual. Um, I have some street etiquette, and I've got the bargaining negotiation skill. <laughs> well, that's actually pro not too bad, but... Uh, do you and have I also have charisma entirely based on the fact that I'm an elf. <laughs> Does... Um, <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Night Sass, do you have uh, any sort of explosive by chance? I do not. Okay. Um, you know what? Maybe, maybe we just need to go into the alley, cause a distraction so that they can get in the car and escape, and we'll just deal with the consequences. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay. I like that idea. I would really All like right. to complete this mission. All right. All right, listen. All right. So, breakdown. Once you hear a lot of gunfire, I want you to get in the car and get the hell out of here. Okay. I think uh, I think me and Sass, we're going to go in the alley. We're going to cause a bunch of noise. Everyone's going to come over running. What the fuck is going on? And that's your cue to get out. Okay. Hold on, though. I, like, dig in my fanny pack. And I pull out two little <laughs> bracelets that have <laughs> dove feathers attached to them. I say, take these. They're good luck. They'll keep you safe. I hold them out expectantly, like with puppy dog eyes. Like, you're going to take it, right? I like, can, I grab can... it. And at this point, anything that makes us not die. <laughs> <laughs> can humans have allergies? Great. Can I be okay. allergic to doves? Or, or like hemp or... Or him. Like, like champa or patchouli or whatever. Nara the sire, the sire. Literally the everything that makes up my being. Yeah. Farmer's markets. Burlap. <laughs> Elf <Free trade>. smell. <laughs> no, yeah, okay, I, so, I'm talking about I smell great. Okay, what's your, what's your distraction, uh, Night's Ass? And, um, uh, uh, can we see across the street if there's anything... Um, so I'm thinking like over in this area, if they're looking down that we might be able to just shoot at. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. There's like, like there's buildings and other parked cars and whatever. Um, yeah. So, break down, so before breakdown leaves, I mean, can she try healing me again or he? Yeah. 
Yeah, break down can try again. The target number goes up by two if you do. Would you mind? Yeah, um, I want to. I would want to try that again. Yeah. Okay. One more. One more shot before you go. I hope you don't knock yourself out. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, wait. Okay. So what? What cool. force? What force do you want to cast it at? Uh. Oh, I get to choose. Yeah, the more force you choose, the harder the drain is, but also the um, more chance, the more dice. Yeah, more dice yeah. you have. Exactly. Target number is six. Okay. If well, I actually, it's, sorry, target number is eight now. Because you okay. tried before. Okay. So, question: If yes. I were to use heal deadly wounds instead of heal moderate wounds, and used heal deadly wounds but at a lower force, would that have a greater impact on a uh, moderate wound? No, because a deadly healing healing deadly wounds the drain is way higher, uh, and the chances of you just knocking yourself out is is higher. Like you apply each one to its own wound level, um, j for that reason. Okay, so yeah. since I have to hit an eight, I should probably use my maximum. Ugh. Yeah, use all, all four dice. Yeah. Okay, so it'll be four d six greater sure. than eight. Four d six greater than eight. Yep. Yeah. You can just pass out from this, right? Uh, no, there's, it's pretty. It's a pretty yeah. soon. Like she can take a, take a moderate physical or a moderate mental wound, which wouldn't knock her out. I'll still be well, fine to drive. Okay. It's okay. While she's doing this, I'm also don't, having a pep talk. Don't drain and drive, kids. <laughs> don't yeah. drain and drive. <laughs> Do not drain and drive. <laughs> okay. I've been I'm fucking casting thing. spells all night. Oh, I, whatever. Shit. I'm just tired. It's fine. <laughs> so I want to tell the scientist that if he touches her or him. That I'll find him. I'll be back. He doesn't understand, but he nods <laughs> politely. <laughs> hey! All right. He understands That's the right. gravity of the situation. <laughs> Fuck. You get to reroll those sixes. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Oh. You didn't oh, have exclamation. Wait, okay, wait. So now okay. just roll two, roll two d6. Yeah, this is easy. You got it. And just you don't get two or higher. Well, you got it. Two d6. That's and it. Just, just not channel your aura. Me. Yeah, just add a 2d6, and you add it to those two sixes. So you had a 10 and a, a 7. Okay. So you got one success. Um, so what that does is divides the healing time. Okay, so now, uh, instead of taking 10 days for this to heal, it's only going to take 10 turns. <gasps> Whoa. Which is like, yeah, not that long. Yeah. So in, in 10 turns, it'll go from a moderate sure. wound to a light wound. It's the power of doves, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag dumb life. White, white, <laughs> birds, white birds just fly from your wound. Like in a John Woo movie. Yeah. Um, okay. I just open up my jacket. Dodger's character is actually, out. yeah. Dodger's character is just a descendant of John Woo. <laughs> yeah, or, or the like crazy. John Woo didn't, in, in, in this too. world, yeah, John Woo wasn't a director. He became a fucking shaman. And he just healed people <laughs> with dub magic. Yeah, he was a dove and organ music shaman. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's great. Your your wound will reduce very quickly, so you can already feel it like starting to heal. Let's see what the drain looks like. All right. So, so. it's a four. You're resisting a four. Uh, what is it? Heal moderate wounds. So four M six greater than four. Four M two. You're resisting with your willpower, uh, and yeah, four. greater than four. You got it. Okay, so you reduce it from an M wound to an L wound. So you take uh, an L. Mental. So that's your third now mental I'm, fatigue. I'm so. at moderately fatigued now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, guys. I can still drive. It's fine. So this is yeah. This is the point at which like you're casting the spell and you can see Night Sass. You can see that like Breakdown's eyes get all like bloodshot, and he's like he's like sweating, and you can see it's kind of his veins sort of through his skin. Um, the magic is starting to yeah really take a toll on uh, on Breakdown. But you feel a lot better, so that's cool. Nice. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I'll just rub his shoulder a little bit. There, there. Okay. okay, so before you before you make a casual walk for it um, upstairs, <laughs> um, do you want to make another attempt to get this car off you, Crusher? Yes. Good call. Go ahead and do that. <laughs> so I was no. Uh, is that, I'm gonna die in, here. Is it lessened? Any Deep iron breaths? Is it till yes. still ten? Yeah, same roll as before. Fuck, man. One success. 23, though. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a good fucking roll. <laughs> yeah, wow. I mean, it's not any better, but that's... Yeah. Wow, nicely done. Okay, yeah, so you, you get your hands under the uh, under the car and lift it up, pull it off of your body, and push it back far enough that you can get free. Um, 
And uh, where do you want to go now that you're you're free of the car? Um, I get up. I or I guess I I like stand up. I brush my armor that's dented off. Uh, <laughs> I go over to the the side of the car and just like yank the fucking car door off if I can. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no problem. And uh, I I just like poke the guy. He's super dead. Okay, I take out a card from my arm and put it on the dashboard and walk back into the elevator and hit the button and go back down. Do you want to take anything out of the car before you go? He's got a console-mounted shotgun, he's got a pistol on his belt, and his sniper rifle is still lying on the... Uh, yeah, I guess I'll take the shotgun, yeah. Okay. Um, shotgun. He doesn't have, like, in a... There, I don't know what's in this world that could, like, give us an information boost, but there's not, like, a, a radio, police radio that I can hear going off? Yeah. Can I just yeah, rip yeah. that out? Uh, I mean, yeah, it would just break it. I mean, it's probably already broken. The car's off, but it oh, has, okay. like, this radio in it. Okay, but I'm not hearing, like, an active signal? No. No, no, the car's pretty busted. Okay, you yeah. Just the the battery's now. probably crushed. Um, but, yeah, okay, so you take the shotgun. I take the shotgun. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can carry anything else, so. Yeah. I and mean, I only have two arms. That's true. For now. Yeah. <laughs> to total, totally legit to just throw some extra arms on yourself there. Yep. Um, okay. Can you do that? Yeah. Definitely. Uh, you do anything in Shadow, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah man. <laughs> it's the cyberpunk future. You can do anything you want. It's the future of the 80s. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You want a cell phone, though? No. Don't even no cell phones. It. No, no Google. Wi-Fi. Okay, well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you about what shotgun it is later. Um, okay. So, uh, so you take that, and then you want to go back in the elevator and go downstairs. Yeah, yeah. I just get back into the elevator, start okay. tapping my foot again to the the music, and I All just right. got two shotguns at my side as I'm going down. <laughs> All right, Bonbon, bon, you want to take a shot at like a parked car or something? Um. Yeah. Uh, let's do that. Okay. Let's do that. All right. So is it just like a single shot, or do you just like unload on the car, or? Actually, um, is there like uh, any sort of bus stop across the street, or? Sure. Yeah. Why not? I'm just thinking like the largest pane of glass I could find. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's a building across the street that it has like the big glass front, like a frosted glass, like. That's what know, I want to shoot at. Like an ocean thing with like an orca jumping out of it, because Seattle. Perfect. Um, okay. Perfect. All right. So you take a shot at it. Um, the glass so shatters. How does it I have... you, don't, you don't have to roll. You just oh, okay. you just roll on a break glass. Fuck yeah. Fuck I wouldn't yeah. make you roll to break glass with a gun. I, I mean, <laughs> I do have a laser sight. I assume I just like look for the red dot. I'm like, okay, I can do this. Yeah, you you're hitting very nearly literally the broadside of a barn. All right. So you just take the shot. Um, the gun, yeah, jumps in your hand and. The, the glass falls like a like a waterfall, like all at once, just smashing to the ground. Immediately the alarm goes off in the car. The cops turn on. You just hear the, like, whoop, whoop, as they, like, turn the siren on, and they start driving forward to check it out. Uh, do you guys want to hide as they go past the alley? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. In fact, um, I kind of imagine it, like, almost, like, giggling like a bunch of young vandals. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like <laughs> <running>. <laughs> we, we, they're moving. We did it. So, you know, some, yeah. Some people like to spray paint the sides of walls. You like to fire high-grade <laughs> firearms through windows of buildings that might have people. Yep. Yep. You hooligan. <laughs> All right. So uh, make a uh, – I'm guessing you and Night's Ass don't have um, st stealth. Um, I didn't take it. Okay. I do. Yeah, I don't have stealth. Don't okay, so if you don't have stealth, uh, it's a body test. Um, and target number is going to be, it would normally be uh, four, but it's going to be uh, six. Uh, body test, difficulty six. Damn. In a dark alley? Uh... Well, you're not in the alley. I guess you're in like you're in the parkade. So it's a good oh, point. I, Let's we'll, sorry, redu I, we'll reduce it down to four because you got your okay. cut. Yeah. Okay, that's a good point. All right. Yay. Okay, so uh, night's ass. You got a success. Um, sweet. You said four. Your body. Yeah, body. Oh my god! Nice. Yes. <laughs> okay. You two are just like totally invisible, pretty much. The the cop car <laughs> rolls past. And pulls up uh, where the arrow ends there and stops. And um, one of the cops, like the passenger side cop, gets out. Um, and he starts walking uh, over to the glass. And, like, he's on his radio, like, what's going on? Shots fired. Um, 
what uh, Crusher, you get down to the bottom floor. You can see across the parkade where Night's Ass and um, Bon Bon are crouched down, yeah. giggling. You can see Breakdown and the the hostage like going. You guys are going for the car, right? Breakdown. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you want to do? Casu very casually. <laughs> totally. Yeah, I start walking towards uh, Bon Bon and Night's Ass. Okay. Um, bon Bon and Night's Ass, you spot your stealth about to get blown. <laughs> walking towards you, all nine feet of them. Um, but Breakdown, you and the the professor get to your car. Cool. You get you in the car. Do. I encourage him into the, into the you know the passenger seat. I hand him a little a little dove doll. Close the door. <laughs> I get into my spot, and then which um, do, do, have, do, do I know? Like... Do I know where to go? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <you do. laughs> I'm just like I guess I'll drive. You're the only one with a car, so you totally know where to go. Okay, sick. Do you have a Do you have like a sweet dream catcher hanging from your rearview mirror? Uh, no. No dream no? catchers, no. But I do have I do have some beads with some some feathers hanging from it. There are like an awkward number of feathers in my car, <laughs> like to the it's point like where you think maybe I just kill pigeons more often than I actually. So it's like, like it's like getting into the inside of a pillow. Yeah, basically, <laughs> just like they're just everywhere. It's kind of a driving hazard. They float in front of my face sometimes. All right, so everybody in the parkade sees breakdown and um, Dr. Takaguchi get into the car and drive off. So they're on their way to, to the drop point. Um, there's still these cops nearby, and there's probably more on the way on account of all of the explosions. Uh, what are the three of you going to do? Should we meet up with Crusher? Yeah, I mean, Crusher's, like, walking over to you. Uh, the two of us? Yeah. Right? That's yeah, so um, you two, and then Crusher's on his way up. All right, uh, let's go head over to Crusher. Yeah, yeah, I guess we would try to sneak further down the alley. Okay, you want to go back into the alley? Because you're in the parkade right now, right? Oh, uh, oh, and he's walking towards in the parkade. Yeah, he just walked out of the elevator. It's right about this time where I'm like, that asshole Sam never called me back. <laughs> <laughs> sure did. All I need is some fucking sewer access so we can get out of here. <laughs> um, I think that's what we should do. Inevitably, there's got to be a manhole in the... Uh, in the alley, and I think our safest way out is to is for a sewer escape. Okay. okay. It's gonna be real hard fitting Crusher into a manhole. Oh Jesus! Well, you know what? Oh, I'm just God. thinking about my escape right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Crusher can just walk down the street, letting bullets fly off him. <laughs> yeah, he's probably fine. He is. Yeah. He's actually he's like he looks a little winded. Like he's he's walking a little slower than usual. Our target's gone. Our target's taken care of. Now we just got to get out of here. So, Crusher, I kind of feel like you're a bit on your own here. And <laughs> maybe me and Sass can can get away. I don't, I don't know unless we can steal a car big enough for us, but I can't drive it. Uh, <clears throat> I kind of look at you and I, my visor goes up. You see my eyes kind of almost squinting at you a little bit. And I go, hey! And I pull out a card, <laughs> and I just hand you the card. Do so you want to read what's on the All right, card? I want to read what's on the card. I will, okay. I will send it to you on Skype. <laughs> oh, shit, I forgot to start. Let me, uh, let me just call you guys back, because this is going to take forever to get okay. started again. I'll do it right oh. now. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right, there we go. Uh, go with this person. Cool. All right, I'll send it to you right now. We Okay. Are these cards different? What? I think he's just got the one that he's thrown around. Just yeah, the no, one. they're they're just well, I hand I hand weed a card. Uh, Marcus, Where did I sent you? it to your. Um, oh, I got it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah. So how do, you, <laughs> how do you want to get away? Um. Can I peek over Bonbon's shoulder? Do you want to just read it for us, Weed? 
Hello, my name's Lorenzo Crusher Salvatore, and during my operation, I lost my ability to communicate effectively, but I am now more than ever an effective mercenary for hire. If you wish to hire me for a shadow run, my rates are non-negotiable because I cannot negotiate. Thank you, and have a nice day. Written by Dr. Joey Butafuku. Please contact if found dead. <laughs> beautiful. It's a thing of beauty. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh well, yeah, we're gonna uh, work with you again, Crusher. I don't, I don't know. I've never, uh, I don't know, I actually don't know what to do. I'm actually... <laughs> yep. Night, Night Sash, you, you need to help me out here. Can I don't... we rendezvous somewhere? Like, we take the sewer and, you know, Crusher just does his thing. Sounds great. Let's do it. Crush ya. We need you to open the manhole in the, the, the alley so we can get in. I just like lift up my thumb very slowly. Start walking <laughs> over to the fucking manhole and just rip it off. Okay. Yeah, you just I, I just like poke a Super finger light. through the center and then just pry it off. Okay. So you have a good understanding of the sewer access and the tunnels and whatnot, right, Bon Bon? Well, you know, it's... A basic series of tunnels we walk a little bit this way we're gonna get out in another area and hopefully <laughs> find some transportation back do we have a headquarters oh god no you're not cool enough for an hq yet you all have can you can you <laughs> like just tell us where our final destination like what we i don't yeah, think i mean you all ever. you all got you all got the drop point address and are at least professional enough to have like remembered it individually so yeah you know how to get where you're going Okay. Crusher. Wait, does Crusher know where it is? Yeah. Yeah, Crusher. yeah. Maybe Crusher can hear. He just can't say. Give me, can't communicate. Gotcha. Give me a thumbs up if you understand this. Do you know where we're going to? Our, our end point, our rendezvous. Uh, I would have known it before the mission, I assume, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I just give another, like, thumbs up. If we take this hole to get there and you walk there, will you, are you okay with that? You'll meet us there? Thumbs up, yeah? Uh, I I put my visor down and give a thumbs up and I just start walking. <laughs> All <laughs> right, that's my boy. Okay, let's go. <laughs> awesome. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, it sounds like Bonbon, bon, you've used the sewers as like an escape route before, and probably you've been down here to like, like get access to like uh, telecom like links and stuff. Of course. Right? They run fiber optic cable under the underground. Right. So I don't think it's too hard for you to get away now that you're in the sewer so after the all the destruction above. Um, what are you going to do, uh, Crusher, to, to get away? Because you can't really shoot your way out of this problem. Do I know <laughs> how the sewer access lines run at all? Or no? No. Probably, probably not. not. Yeah, I wouldn't remember that. Yeah. Um, I can't. I look around. Are there any cars sized for trolls? Uh, yeah. Like, there's a there's probably like a delivery truck that you could sit in like both seats of and drive with one hand. That's what I do. You wanna try and you know just like steal a car? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you have any kind of skill that would allow you to hotwire a vehicle? Uh, unarmed combat. <laughs> that's, that's like you just it. Just break the car off and like yeah. push it with your feet underneath. Yeah. That that I I I go over and look at the car and I like open it. Just and I, I just look around and then I close it and I look over to the left and I see that a bus stop and I just go sit down at the bus stop. Okay. All right. And I'm just, so like, I just cross my arms. I'm just like looking around. <laughs> Cool. Okay. Actually, that's probably that's like that's a really good place to stop. Actually, because like just Crusher walks over, sits down on the bus stop next to some old lady, and it's like looks at her, <laughs> <laughs> waiting for the shadow bus. Cool. All right. So you guys, uh, you did you did complete your mission. So uh, for this mission, everybody got uh, ten thousand new yen. So you can add that to your character sheet. Hey. And then I'll give you some <laughs> karma to show you how that works. Uh, so karma in Shadowrun replaces experience in other systems. So you'll accumulate karma, and then you can use it in one of two ways. You can either spend it to make your characters better, so you can improve your skills and your attributes and all that stuff, um, or you can spend it as good karma, which lets you do things uh, in-game, like with dice, but then you don't have it to spend on improving your character. So it's like a pool of dice you can use, either a pool of things you can use as you play, or you can, you can make your character better. 
Like so how how much karma would it cost like to re-roll it, one die? Uh, it's one one karma. I think lets you re-roll all your failed dice. Oh, uh, sick! Wow. Yeah, like it's pretty good because you're spending your experience, right? You're saying like I don't care about getting better. I just need to survive right now. Um. Okay. So, like, let me see here for karma. So everybody gets. Uh, you can start a start a tally because you'll get one for just for surviving the mission. So congratulations. Um, you get another one for succeeding at the mission. So if you survived and failed, you'd get um, both. Um, and then we vote on, and this is where it gets fun. So we vote on somebody to get. I love you. We get to vote. Uh, somebody in the party will get one more uh, experience point for role playing. And you guys, I'm not. I abstain from the vote unless there's like a tie. So you nominate somebody. Uh, so who wants to go first with the nominations? Uh, I nominate Wheat for his voice, on the, <laughs> the accent, the Brooklyn accent. And tie between Dodger and Wheat. I was gonna say either JP or Wheat. JP didn't have a lot of lines, but he committed to those lines. <laughs> uh, I, I'll I'll go with uh, I'll go with breakdown. Ah, okay. thanks. I assume so, I can't vote for myself. Oh yeah, that seems all. <gasps> so I voted Wheat. <laughs> so you're the One you're the. You're yeah. the deciding vote, uh, Caitlin, and, and I mean, Bray, did you decide? Uh, I'm, I'm going to go for JP. That way, Caitlin is <laughs> the deciding <Okay>. vote. <laughs> you're, you're the decider. I really like Wheat's accent. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. go with Wheat. Do it with me. Okay, so we, you get an extra one for all Is that playing. three total? Yeah, that's three for you. There's another one uh, we're going to vote on for Guts. So it's brave or effective fighters <laughs> get a point or two. Stupidly brave fighters don't earn this award. If you're lucky to survive, that's its own reward. So it's like taking risks that like worked out. Um, I, I mean, how can we argue that? There's JP's, no question who gets because this, yeah, JP yeah. discovered himself the moment that he opened that door and just was like, <laughs> "Sup, I mean, sons." He he. Th I I'm pretty sure JP thought I might die right here. Like it might just happen right here. But then he's like, "Holy shit! I actually could just do this shit." So <laughs> I still have to put my vote in for JP. JP. Okay. Cool. So JB, you get an extra one. Great. So there are a few. There are a few other rewards for uh, things like coming up with like a really clever strategy, or having the right skill just at the like last second. Like if you like, I don't know, desperately needed someone who had biology, and you could roll that. Um, also, um, there's some other like minor rewards, but we'll just we'll do every session. We'll do the role playing, the guts one. We'll do those every Dude, time. Is there any reason why you don't give that to the chat? Yeah, we should do the. Ha. Yeah, okay. Like the the all of them? Or are you just saying the for, the role playing one? I mean, even the oh. guts, right? Oh, oh, yeah, like, I think the I think it, the vote it would be really it, interesting just and then we I don't have to worry about that. That would be really fun. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we can talk about which ones we think should be awarded and I'll give you as a list of what all of them are and then we can say like, okay, for the ones we've decided, who gets role playing, who gets guts, who gets smarts, that kind of thing. That's a great idea. Thanks. Okay. So. Cool. Okay, so, so you get that. You get chat was like, "Let us vote, motherfuckers." God, <laughs> okay, cool. like we say, you watch this shit. We should at least get a chance to vote. <laughs> I like, I like <laughs> your, I like your chat impression. That's nice. Well, very, yeah. very Everyone charitable. has a different chat impression. That's <laughs> all the negative. I was like the manifestation of all the negative people. There we go. <laughs> Wait, okay, so, so, so that guys. that karma that you have. Sorry, yes. Doctor, you have a question. I was gonna ask how we can use the karma to add yeah. to our ratings and things, but I feel like you're probably going to explain I'm that. Just, I'm just about to. So, you can, one point of karma allows you to reroll all of the failed dice in a roll. So, even rolls that are already successful, if you just want them to be more successful, you can burn a point of karma, do that. Uh, if you roll all your dice, and they all come up ones, and you get that, like, terrible oops result, you can cancel it with a point of karma. Two points of karma get you a free success on any roll, so if you have a role that's like, you need one success on a 27 difficulty, two points of karma will just buy you that success. Wow. Um, or you can um, spend two karma to buy off someone else's success. So if someone hits you with like a crazy weapon and they only hit you by one, you can buy off that one with two karma. Um, and then you can spend uh, you can spend your points to buy successes for NPCs too. So like, if you're dying, if your character's dying, and you have an NPC medic attending to you, and I make a roll for the medic, and I roll really badly, you can spend your karma on them to help you. Cool. Gotcha. Uh, and, and then, then 
Oh. The, yep. And then the, the advancement, if you want to save your karma, um, you can boost skills, concentrations, specializations, buy additional languages, learn new spells, uh, and it's... Um, it's all dependent on your current rating. So, like, a general skill, like ranged combat, costs twice what your current rating is to bump it up. So, you were asking me earlier, Caitlin, like, how you could get your ranged combat up after you specialize. If you want to raise it from three to four, it costs six karma, for example. And what's the formula again? Yeah, what's the formula for that? So, it's all on page 150 uh, in the rule book. Um, it's twice the current skill for a general skill, one and a half times for a concentration, one time for a specialization, and one time for a language. Um, and it costs one point to go from nothing to, uh, to one. Uh, if you don't have a skill, you want to buy a new one. Um, okay. Yeah, and then spells cost depending on the force, but you also have to find someone to teach it to you, and you have to pay them. And that's how that goes. Interesting. Right. Right. Yeah. I'm sure we'll have to... At least I'm going to have to hear that like a thousand times. Oh, yeah, yeah, and that's, and that's fine. Like, if you just have a thing and you think you have enough for it, all the costs are on 150, and you, you guys can let me know if you okay, have Okay, I'll just questions. write that down. Uh, um, you can't, uh, as far as I can see, raise attributes with karma. That's what cybernetics are for. Like, if you have a willpower of one, you will never not have a willpower of one. That's just that who you well for me. Oh yeah. Are there are there AI in this game or no? Um, at this time in the history, no. Um, and just because there's so much AI stuff in Swan Song, I'll yeah, probably, probably not do it. Okay, I'll probably just never bring it up. Gotcha. Sounds good. Cool. Uh, well, is that are we good? Is that good, Adam? Are we good? Yeah, I think we're we're good. Awesome. Uh, we're gonna try to do this show on Monday evenings, which. Sucks because next Monday I think three of us are going to be at PAX. I don't think Adam and yes. Caitlin are going to be going, uh, so we will not have a show next Monday. <laughs> but we might do a makeup next uh, next week. We'll see. Thursday. Yeah, yeah, I think I think we decided on Thursday, uh, two weeks ago. I don't know if that still is the same. We'll have to figure it out. I'm not going to schedule a show on air because that's just not the way that's, to do things. That's crazy talk. Yeah, that's crazy talk. Uh, but we are going to do some shout outs to wrap up the show. So Adam, why don't you start off, man? Well, shout out to everybody who came to check out the first episode. Woo! Good time. Shout outs to my fellow players for struggling through the massive piles of D6s. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for sticking it out, everybody. There you go. What'll be really cool is when you're all super good at it and are like, I've got this modifier and these dice and you're just like rolling and feeling cool because you mastered a role playing game, which is like the greatest skill anyone can ever have in life. Oh it's yeah. It's number one. <laughs> just getting good at role playing games. Uh, anybody who wants to see me talk more about role-playing games and shit, you can follow me on Twitter, at SkinnyGhost. It's pretty much all I talk about, so do that. Um, I will do the inaugural Q&A over at uh, JP's subreddit, and if you're not already watching Swan Song, get on that shit. Cause it's get cool. on that shit. Get on it. So, go. yeah. Thanks, everybody. Uh, and as, uh, I guess for Swan Song, I think we're planning to do a show post pack South. We don't have anything planned this week. Uh, yeah, we don't even have a date planned, I don't think, so... Uh, we'll just have updates for you guys on that. Because Vistacarian went, he like disappeared, man. Oh, is that who it was? Yeah, he went into a Wasn't coma. It? Yeah. Oh, that. Oh, that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot what happened last episode. Uh, anyways, Dodger, do some shoutouts. Uh, hi, I'm Dodger. I'm primarily on YouTube, youtubecom slash to continue where I do gaming and anime and nerdy adjacent stuff, and also youtubecom slash bonus where I drink coffee and talk about how awesome my cats are. Soon to be how awesome my doves are. Am I right? Just kidding. I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, and I also have been pretty consistently streaming at twitchtv bonus, so I'd love it if you followed me on there and on all the social medias. I'm at Dexbonus, D E X B O N U S, and most of my tweets are in all caps. So as long as you're cool with that, I would love for you to join me. And that's it. <laughs> uh, Dodger, I'm gonna extend an invitation. You gotta come play H1Z1 with me and Sam. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I don't um, know if the room could handle it though, because you guys would both just be <laughs> shrieking. <laughs> uh, one time I played Daisy with Sam, and that was a disaster. <laughs> that, did it not go well? So. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll I'll disextend that from you. I'll have to talk it over with Sam. You know, we'll yeah, have to you see. guys discuss. We that. have a we have a tight knit group right now. We'll see if you can let. Uh, 
I understand. I'll let you know. My people will talk to your people. Uh, okay, Wheat, do some shout outs. And when JP says tight knit group, as I watched the stream the other day, most of it's like, whoa, wait, who's that guy? Is he friendly? Wait, wait, his, uh, wait, no, 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 don't shoot him. He's friendly. No, no, no. Wait, wait. What about that guy over the hill, dude? Dude, over there. Where? Where, JP? Over there. On the fucking hill, man. What the fuck? It's, yep. it's hilarious. Just like I pretty much summarized the stream into that 20 second thing right there. <laughs> pretty much. Um, <laughs> it is nice to return to the world of Shadowrun. Uh, I cannot wait to really get into this. I know that like, as we get further and people really start to embrace the system, it won't seem like as crazy and fucked up as it actually is. So, Adam, you actually did a great job just sort of simplifying it. And, and Adam said earlier that they're, you know, they're not going to like throw us into the, the real complex super shit right away so everyone can like learn along the way. Um, which is great. So uh, thank you guys. I'm I'm already loving this team, even though I don't know how long this team's gonna last. But it'll be really interesting <laughs> we'll, to see. We'll what... fall into our, you know. Hey man, to wait, be... wait. If you would have told me that the original crew of the Swan Song was still intact well, on week one, okay, fair enough. Fair, you're one. right. You're right. I'll give you that. So either way, I look forward to our exploits here in uh, in the world of Shadowrun. So and Mirror Shades. There you go. That's it. Cool. Last but not least, Caitlin, do some shout outs. Hey, I'm Caitlin. I stream StarCraft primarily, but also other games at twitch.tv slash Caitlin. And I also do other roleplay things and one shots with JP and Ryan. So it's fun. You can always find me doing stuff. And you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash Caitlin, but there's an underscore between the Y and the N. And yeah, thanks, Adam, so much for controlling this and making sense of everything. It was really, really, really controlling. Fun <laughs> you, you, you people are uncontrollable. I can't. No. I can't. Even. <laughs> no, I can't. Even. Thanks everyone for watching. Awesome stuff. I think we all echo that statement. Thanks everyone for watching. Well, I yeah, we'll let you know next time we're gonna be live. I'm just going to say that. I was going to extend that, but no, we're stopping there, uh, oh. <laughs> which will most likely be right after the broadcast whenever we talk. So that's it. See you guys next time on the next episode of Roleplay Marishade. Solemn is on Wednesday. We'll see you guys then. We're out. Bye-bye. Have a great uh, one. Bye-bye.